Hi Math Aid students, here we are for our next lesson, uh, lesson 10.5. So I made some more shapes for you. I sent home the, the sheets for you to print off and hopefully make with uh, colored paper. And the first shape I want to talk about is the pyramid. We looked at this last time, but now we're going to find the surface area of a pyramid. So when it's all folded up, it looks like this. Here's the square base. And then we have four triangles that are the same. And when we look at the net, you can see the square base and the four triangles that are all the same. So to find the surface area, I need to find the area of the base and I need to add it to all four triangles. Okay, so that's for that shape. Now this shape is a little bit different than what we've done before. It's not a cylinder it's a cone. So when I have a cone, I basically have two shapes. I have the uh, circle on the bottom, and then I have one piece that wraps all the way around. Now, if I have that open as a net, it will look like this. So I have the circle on the bottom, and when I open this up, it opens up to a pie shape, all right? And um, what I need is I need this slanted length here, and I also want you to notice something. When this opens up, that the length of the bottom of the pie shape is actually the circumference of the circle. That's important. So do you see how that opens up? That's all going to be part of our formula. So I wanted to show you some visual aids to help you understand how these formulas work and uh, so that you can remember how to solve them. All right, so uh, I need my cameraman. My husband forgot me. He went off to eat something. So hopefully he'll come back soon. Oh, here he is. He got his coffee. <laughs> We all have a lot going on, so we're going to move this. I'll take care of this. Did you touch that? Thank you. I'll do that. So you, I want you, to, dear, to do one thing. Please just move the camera. Thank you. Okay, so I want everybody to take out a piece of paper and write your uh, lesson 10.5 on it, and we're going to do two, two examples. I'll wait while the camera is adjusted. Okay, thank you very much, dear. I appreciate it. Okay, so the first one, we are going to find the surface area of a pyramid. So I'm going to draw the pyramid, 3D. Sorry about the music in the background. I have children home too, and they are enjoying their break. Okay. And this length is 12. Okay. So, when I'm trying to find the surface area, I've got the plan, my plan, which is one base plus four triangles. That's my plan. I don't want to forget any part of it. So the first part is the base. And I look here and I can see this length is eight and this length is eight. So it would be eight times eight, which is 64. And let's call those feet. So this would become feet squared. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is figure out one triangle. So the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Now you need to be really careful with this because my slanted edges, the edges are not the height. In this example, there's only one number given, which is 12. The height goes down the middle of the triangle 
and it is perpendicular to the base. So it's not this. That is not the height. So let's write over here, not the height. It's only the perpendicular length down the middle of the triangle. Very important. And this was 8. So I've got 1 half and my base length is 8 and the height is 12. So half of 96 is 48. So now I've got each piece. I've got my base and I have one triangle. So my surface area is going to be my one base. I'm going to rewrite this plus four triangles. And I've got 64 here plus four. Now I'm going to put four triangles in there. 48. So I get 64 plus four times 48 is 192. And when I add those two together, I get 256 feet squared. All right, so that's the surface area of a square base pyramid. That's number one. And here's number two. We're going to do the surface area of a cone. And here's my picture. and I have dots for behind it and my radius is 4 and this length here is 9. That's the slanted length. Alright, so my formula for a surface area is going to be one circle plus the one area that looks like a piece of pie. So my surface area is going to be pi r squared that's the formula of one circle area. And now I'm going to tell you the area of the pi. It's pi r l. L is this length right here. Now that just looks like a stick, so I'm going to make it into a cursive L. And they do that in the book sometimes. Well, that didn't work out. Okay, so we'll do it like this. It's this slanted length right there. Okay, so surface area. Now, remember, the 4 here is under the radius. So it refers to the radius. It's not the diameter. Be very careful. If my number was sitting over the middle, the 4 would be the diameter. I remember this on a previous test in another year. Uh, a lot of students got that wrong because they thought the 4 here referred to the radius, but it was actually the diameter. So be careful with that. It all depends on the placement of the number. So I have pi. 4 r squared plus pi radius. Now in the picture you can see that 9 is the length that is my lateral <laughs> L. Children upstairs are laughing and having a good time. Isn't that nice? They forgot mom is teaching. It's okay. Alright, so I'm going to have 16 pi plus 36 pi now, pi in a case like this means uh, it's like a, a variable. I can add things together that have it. So if this said 16x plus 36x, I can add those together and get 52x, right? Because they both have x's. In the same way, I can add 16 pi and 36 pi and I get 52 pi. It works just like a variable. And in, if you had this answer on your test, I would accept that. However, in the back of the book, sometimes they don't have the answer in terms of pi. They have it in terms of the decimal. So I'm going to go ahead and write that answer too. Working it up right now. 
Hey Johnny, why don't you come say hi to everybody? They could hear you upstairs. Hey guys. <laughs> and that works out to be 163.28. And we'll call this centimeters, so it's centimeters squared. And that's our answer. Okay. So I will come back with lesson 10.6 in a little bit and I will put your homework in the email and I hope that our visual aids and our lessons helped you to understand well. Good luck.